Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing that I am ridiculously excited about. This is actually a sneak peek for a special midweek release from Diamond Art Club. You guys, we have another incredible and breathtaking kit coming to us as part of Diamond Art Club's licensing agreement with DC. So, if yeah, you can already see it, see that amazing rainbowy effect. The kit that I have to share with you all today is the absolutely stunning Wonder Woman. Oh my gosh. Now, the exact name of this piece, I believe it's Wonder Woman 1984. And isn't this amazing? You guys, to tell you that I about screeched when I saw this is not an exaggeration. This is amazing. Now, um, we have a little bit of a look at what the rendering is going to be like on the box. Diamond Art Club does some really amazing and special branding on their boxes for these special licensing agreements that they have. We have Gal Gadot here on the back and like this really fun, like kind of tie dye ombre effect going on here. Again, this branding Wonder Woman 1984. And we also have info about how to diamond paint and the kit contents. And there is that artwork again. So this is gonna have a whopping 67 colors, including four AB diamonds, and it's going to have square drills. Now, this is part of DC and Warner Brothers by extension. So we have gotten some really amazing kits as part of Diamond Art Clips licensing agreement with Warner Brothers, and this is no exception. So um, just to give you the quick details while I'm opening this up for us, this kit is going to be released at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Wednesday, June 8th. So that's 9 a.m. Pacific time or noon. Eastern time. I don't believe that they're going to do an early access window for higher rewards tiers. I don't think they usually do that with these midweek releases, but be sure to set your alarms. We don't necessarily know if this kit or any of the other releases um, for this special release are going to be limited edition. If they are, that means that once they sell out, they will not be restocked. So I highly recommend checking in at, at um, release time and jumping on any kits that look like ones you might want, especially if they're marked limited edition. You guys, this particular kit and this particular art style, I just, I just have to say, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that this is going to be wildly popular. Now I will go ahead and say, as I show you this sticker here, where we have the title, um, we do not actually get artist names with these Warner Brothers kits. That's just part of the agreement. So um, that's why we don't see a specific artist name. <laughs> that's, again, just how it works. But the title of the piece is Wonder Woman 1984. And this is part of that Wonder Woman 1984 collection through Warner Brothers. There's that amazing original artwork, square diamonds. And this is going to be 51 by 76 centimeters or 20 by 30 inches. Um, this small sticker I like to use in my paper log book. Uh, some people will just put it on the side of the box so it's easy to tell what kit it is, but let's be honest, all the special branding on this box, I don't think that that's going to be a problem. <laughs> um, but you can do with this whatever you like. So I just like having that original artwork there. You're also going to get a toolkit. This is gonna to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. And this is the newer version of the Diamond Art Club toolkit that's going around out there. There are, like I said, a couple of versions and either one is gonna have everything you need. This newer one is just gonna have a couple extra bonus goodies as I think of them. So we have a basic pen and squishy. You might get orange, you might get any other color of the rainbow. This is a very rainbowy kit. So um, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> you get a pair of tweezers with any square drill diamond painting kits you get from Diamond Art Club. They are sharp. So keep the cover on when you're not using them. We have a caddy with two plates of pink heart wax. If you're a beginner, remember to take that thin plastic cover off of the wax before you try to load up your pen. We have a bag of baggies. You can use these to kit up into or to store your leftover diamonds into if you want to save them. We also have a couple of thin plastic multi-placers in case you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then we have a plastic tray with gold sparkles. Uh, there's a couple of versions of this even floating around in the new toolkits. This is the one that is more sturdy and more transparent. 
And then this is a tray stopper so that you can just pop in the end and that'll help with any accidental diamond spillage. <laughs> These two pieces here are the biggest wild cards. Uh, this is a cover minder and this is a roll of washi tape. The cover minder has magnets on the back and if you pop the one off, you can slide this under the area of the diamond painting you're working on and then peel back the plastic cover of that area and you can set that part right on top. It'll hold back the plastic cover for you, which is super convenient. And then the washi tape I like to use to cover up the border of my canvas or just to go around the border of my canvas rather. Uh, Cause sometimes there's just a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field and this uh, covering it with washi helps it not get dust or dirt in it. I also use washi tape to section off my canvases into smaller sections to work on. I've got a video all about that. If you're curious about what I'm talking about, I will link to it down in the description box below. So. Like I said, whether you get this version of the toolkit or the older one, it's still gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting, but some of those elements may vary. Like you might not get that print of washi tape, you might get a different style of cover binder. Now, and here we have all of the rest of our kit content. So uh, in this branded plastic bag or dust cover just gives our canvas that much more additional protection, which I super appreciate. You guys, I am so excited for this one. Oh my gosh, oh, I love her so much already. Oh my gosh, she is stunning. I love it. Okay, so let me pop her sideways so you can see the whole canvas in frame and all of her glory. Okay, so if you do notice that your canvas is not wanting to lay totally flat, like these edges are curling up just a bit, the nice thing about Diamond Art Club's canvases and most other canvases that have poured glue is that if you roll them backwards like this, they'll lay flat really quickly and easily. Diamond Art Club's canvases do have self flattening features, so they will eventually roll flat on their own, but I like to just speed things along. Um, you can also peel back the plastic cover I don't recommend peeling the plastic cover all the way off. I do it halfway each direction. If you peel it all the way off, it's kind of a pain to put back on. And also the plastic cover is not reversible. It's not reversible. So <laughs> I just go halfway each direction and that is another way to help it lay flat. And any of those what look like wrinkles in the plastic cover or wrinkles in the canvas, it's not. It's just where the plastic cover is not laying perfectly flat it's not a big deal. This is gonna lay perfectly flat once you have diamonds down and it's gonna hold those drills absolutely beautifully. So you guys, this canvas, I cannot get enough. So let me show you the rest of our kit content. So we have a big bag of drills with every color of the rainbow, about literally in here. We'll get into these in just a little bit. But also included in here, you're gonna have a pamphlet that has a thank you note from the founder, Angie, on the front. Some info about the kit contents here. This QR code will take you to a beginner step-by-step -step video. I also made one as well if you'd like, I'll link to it below. This QR code will take you to the VIP Facebook group. I definitely recommend joining this group because it's a really fantastic community. We sometimes get lots of fun behind the scenes info and you get to see the different projects people are working on. Here's a list of step-by-step -step instructions and some tips and tricks along with a discount code. And then on the back, these QR codes will take you to the mobile app on your respective device, and you'll actually save 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. Here we've got our sticker sheet again, the name of the artwork, Wonder Woman 1984. Again, we aren't going to have an artist, we're just going to have the collection name and WB Warner Brothers. There's a spot to write your start and end date and this absolutely amazing, amazing artwork. Oh my gosh. I adore this art style so much. And I think this is gonna be absolutely incredible. Here's all the information about the kit itself. And then over here, we have a set of pre-cut stickers. Now this kit has a whopping 67 colors, like I mentioned, and I believe that this is the maximum amount of colors that we've ever seen in Diamond Art Club's kits. There's like five or six other kits that have 67 colors. <laughs> so um, we also have over here on the right, this is a list of the color codes. And this is the same as the DMC color code, which is used in floss for stitching and whatnot. And um, in Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. I'll explain more about those when we're looking at the diamonds together, but it looks like this kit is going to have four. 
Looking at the symbols themselves, we have such a huge variety of colors that that actually will make it a little bit easier. And I don't think we'll necessarily mix them up quite as easily because those background colors, we just have such a wide variety of them. But off the top of my head, I don't think I see any that look really similar. I mean, we have this arrow, this white arrow pointing to the right, this white arrow pointing up. My suggestion for symbols like those is just to make sure that you have your diamonds, like your storage containers um, that have these stickers on them, have them going the same direction as the canvas as you're working on it. So if you're working on the canvas sideways or upside down to get to the top of it or something, just makes you make sure you orient your containers the same way. That way you can make sure that you have pulled the right color and symbol for what, what you're looking for. Anyway, let me show you some of the different elements of this canvas. So up here at the top, we have Diamond Art Club, Do What Makes You Sparkle, their branding. Uh, the edges of their canvases, they're scalloped and finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about fraying. Uh, the canvas material itself, it's super, super soft on the back and really, really nice to work with. It's also a mix of like being really sturdy, but really malleable. And for me, that just makes for a really pleasant and relaxing diamond painting experience that holds the diamonds really beautifully, so the finished product looks amazing and the drills aren't popping off or anything like that. Diamond Art Club uses poured glue on their canvases that almost has a sparkly effect to it. So your whole diamond painting experience is just super, super sparkly. <laughs> over here on the left, we have a legend where we have all 67 colors that goes over half the height of the canvas. And then the same legend over here at the bottom right, again, taking up most of the height of the canvas. <laughs> 67 colors, you guys. But with this rainbow effect, are we surprised? Nope. <laughs> Here at the bottom left, we have that original artwork and all the information about the kit, including the title and the size and the um, copyright information. So you've heard me mention a couple of times Diamond Art Club's licensing agreement with Warner Brothers. That means that Diamond Art Club does have permission to use this artwork and is compensating the company and the artist for the use of this artwork. So with art theft being really common, especially with popular IPs like this one, I am all about shouting out companies like Diamond Art Club that are doing things right and doing right by the artists and the owners of those IPs. Here we've got their social media platforms. Be sure to follow them there so you can see previews of the new releases each week. And here's yet another discount code. And then information about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you're covered under that warranty. If you run into any issues with the glue or the diamonds or the canvas, anything at all, you're covered under that warranty. So contact their customer service and they'll get you taken care of. In a canvas this size, which is again, 51 by 76, it's not huge. But with 67 colors in that size canvas, I think we're naturally going to have a little bit of confetti. Confetti is areas maybe like in here where we've got lots of color changes in a small area. You'll be using your single placer a little more often. Um, and those might go a little bit slower because you're changing out the color in your tray more often. But we also have some areas of what we call color blocking. So like if you look here, we have a big section that's all this symbol. We have lots of these like black outlining. Um, those areas you'll be able to use a multi-placer and that color will be in your tray for longer. So those will probably go a little bit faster. So I really like a mix of color blocking and confetti in my canvas. It looks like this has a good bit of that. Again, this is a really distinct art style that may seem familiar to you from, um, other diamond paintings that we've seen. So I love like the black outlining that we're seeing and the style of it all. I'm gonna tell you right now that in her bracers there, um, those are all white ABs, that number four you're seeing. Oh my gosh, they're gonna shine you guys. Look at her face, it is striking. Her contour game is on point. Oh my goodness, this is totally modeled after Gal Gadot, I feel like probably from that second Wonder Woman, Woman movie, 1984. So um, I definitely think that's what they've modeled this after. Look at her hair, look at her headpiece. Oh my gosh. And then just the rainbow of colors behind her. Now you guys, I have good news for you. <laughs> I am actually, as soon as I'm done filming this uh, part of the video, I'm gonna kit this up and I'm gonna start on this kit uh, because with all the rainbows in her, she qualifies for, well, 
some pride month themed diamond painting events. And she also is technically a princess. So she qualifies for the princess along. Um, you know, she's the daughter of like the queen of Themyscira. So I, she is a princess. Um, so I also just, I adore this artwork so much. I love the colors in it. And I'm thinking I'll probably start up at the top because I kind of want to show you guys what her face is going to look like, um, how that's going to turn out rendered. So you'll see me insert a clip at the end of this video towards the end of this video once we after we look at the diamonds <laughs> and you'll get to see what I've completed so far but I'm really really looking forward to kidding this up and working on her right away before I look at the diamonds though let's do a really quick measurement just to see if we are true to size we usually are with diamond art club but it never hurts to double check and I always I don't know with diamond paintings even though I live in the US I am just so used to thinking in centimeters for diamond paintings so we are at exactly 75 centimeters, but I don't think this is totally perfectly flat. So I am not gonna call that not true to size. I think this is true to size because uh, it's listed as 76, but that was 75 and we're at 50 centimeters left to right. So we are a centimeter shy each direction of the listed dimensions. I think what that means though is that this is gonna have that tire drill field that Diamond Art Club has just started recently rolling out for their square diamond kits. This is a good thing. We're still gonna have the exact number of diamonds that we otherwise would have had, but they're just gonna fit together a tiny bit more tightly because Diamond Art Club's square diamonds now are so consistent in size and quality that they don't have to leave any extra room for gapping anymore. Anyway, um, this package of drills does have the name of the artwork on it. So if you do decide to store this separate from the canvas and outside of the box that it came in, you can easily match those back up again later. All right, so beautiful, beautiful set of rainbowy colors, absolutely magical. Let's get into these. So first, we occasionally will have these like just a little straggler set, set of diamonds here. So 3350 and 895. Now with this style of artwork, you're certainly gonna see a lot of 310 and they're so sparkly. One, two, three, four, five, six bags of 310. Is that it? <laughs> I was gonna say, do we have more? Um, but yes, super sparkly. 815, 150. 939, 796, and then 141. You guys, this is our first AB diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And if you take a look, these diamonds have this amazing super sparkly coating on the top that is reflecting all sorts of other colors. Come on camera, let's focus, focus. <laughs> and these get their name from the Northern Lights. So just like the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis has a really beautiful color shift effect so too does the special coating on the tops of these ab diamonds this really doesn't want to stay in focus i'm sorry you guys it keeps wanting to see her her face in the background and grab that so anyway the areas that these have been charted are really going to catch your eye and um, sparkle even more than regular diamonds do and diamond art club usually uses them in such beautiful ways to highlight the artwork so i'll show you where there's those are going to go after we're done looking at all these some blues and browns 798 783 814 327, 823, 3819, and 434. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so many colors. I love it. All right, different shades of kind of burgundy and beiges and pinks. I love it. Maybe those are her skin tones. We'll see. 898, 754, 433, 601, 3814, 550, that royal purple. 129 there is our second ab in this kit so 129 is a pale buttery yellow ab and it's really really pretty like i said i'll be sure to show you guys exactly where these ab's have been charted once we get through all these diamonds 832 355 745 3705 799 992 720 and 318 i'm gonna need lots of storage containers for these <laughs> all these colors 890 413 3799, 743, 938, 3837, 728, 5200, white, 991 and 
and then 124. There's our 30B. I love the pale pink AB. I'm here for it. One of my favorites. 37, 33. And then our fourth and final AB, 105. That's a brown AB, but that iridescent coating on the top is not just reflecting brown. It's kind of reflecting a mix of colors. 3811 and 3755. So love that color spread. Let's take a look together at where those ABs are going to go. So we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Looking for symbols one, two, three, and four. Lots of light colors we're going to have, so I want to make sure I'm not overlooking them. Pale yellow ABs are on the watch. Pale yellow ABs kind of here on like the highlighted parts of. Is this her? Would you say this is her belt? I think so. Her lasso of truth over here on her hip has tons of white ABs all through and some pale yellows as well. There's so many colors going on. I just want to make sure I'm not missing any. Um, mm -hmm. Some of these little sparkles kind of in the background, that kind of magic sparkly effect. Some of those are actually white ABs kind of on either side and here as well. And then, like I said, I just, I'm sure that I may be overlooking some just because it's so easy to glance past by accident. Okay, let's keep going up just to see. I'll go back if I, if I don't find the rest. So some pale yellow ABs in here, the brown AB right here. Um, yeah, some of the brown AB here and here. I think that's the emblem that's on her chest. I believe we're seeing some of that. Sorry about that, just a brief hiccup. Um, so as we keep moving up, like I mentioned in these arm guards or van braces, we just have huge, huge chunks of this white AB. It's gonna shine so beautifully over here as well. We have some of the pale yellow AB coming up closer to her wrists on either side, some of the brown AB as well on her like uh, wrist guards um gloves <laughs> pale yellow ab here it's just all throughout so many areas of this middle section you guys as we get up into her face i don't see any ab's in her skin tones which i'm very happy with i don't generally like to see ab's in skin tones but as we get up here into her headband we do have a big chunk of white ab's here and a little bit of the brown ab kind of going out from either side um a little bit of the pale yellow here at like the top of her hand. And then over here is where we're gonna find that pink AB. Here, let me shift that just a little bit. That's the only spot I'm seeing the pink AB is right here and then a tiny little chunk right here. So just adding some extra little sparkle and glitz because you guys, this painting is going to glow and all of that sparkle is going to be magical. Oh my goodness, this painting looks incredible and just absolutely stunning, like in the truest sense of the word. I love, 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 love what I'm seeing. And I really do think that this kind of artwork, this style of artwork translates amazingly to diamond painting form, especially with how Diamond Art Club is rendering it. And I am so excited to get started on this one right away. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and kit this up right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause at least this part of the sneak peek video because I want to come back and show you what this looks like with what I have worked on so far. So let's let's just see how much I can get done. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's about 48-ish hours later and I'm really excited to show you how far we've gotten. You guys, take a look. <laughs> Here we go. So I did go ahead and focus on working on obviously the parts with skin tones and with her face and with her hair and everything. And oh my goodness, isn't she gorgeous? I'm telling you what, Diamond Art Club is knocking it out of the park with these renderings lately. So um, obviously I didn't get a whole lot done as far as the different colors that we have going on behind her, but you can see a little bit of these amazing rainbowy colors, these purples and blues back here. And you can see how they even like kind of spill over into her hair a little bit, which I think is an amazing and gorgeous effect. Um, I didn't realize until I got started on this section, I was like, oh, here's some of those pink ABs we have doing some highlighting right here. And um, 
you can see that in her her arm guards or van braces here like all of that white AB is so incredibly sparkly. Oh my goodness. Now, if you look over here at like some of the other like wristbands, armbands that she's wearing, you'll see like we have some of the brown AB in there. Same over here and the same that like the gloves that she's wearing, we have some of the brown AB going on and the yellow AB. So the AB placement is amazing. Her face is so striking i love it this is the very first section that i did and i was just blown away i think the shading is incredible i love how like her lips are even rendered it just it fits the style of the artwork so beautifully and it looks so 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 good with drills down you guys this is one of those kits that i feel like i just have to tell you run don't walk this is going to be absolutely amazing. I had lots of fun kidding this up in my whip and chat this week with you guys and um, sharing like the rainbow of colors that is happening in here through there. Um, so thanks for letting me do that. <laughs> Tease you a little bit, but this is the reveal. Just to give you a really quick recap about this kit and the release itself, because you know, it's been about 48 hours since I filmed the first part of the sneak peek video. But the name of this kit is again, Wonder Woman 1984. This kit is coming to us as part of Diamond Art Club's licensing agreement with Warner Brothers and DC Comics. So it doesn't have a specific artist name attached, but we do know that like it's licensed and that, I mean, it looks amazing and is a style of artwork that many of us very, very much adore. So if this kind of artwork appeals to you, I have to say, jump on it. Uh, this is a nice size kit. It is 51 by 76 centimeters and has 67 glorious colors. Now, even though it has that many colors, I will say there was a good amount of color blocking, even when I was doing these really colorful sections. So I think that that number of colors just comes from there being so much variety in the color throughout the entirety of the piece. So loved that. I felt like it was just the perfect combination. And then of course we have lots of this like black outlining. Um, and that really, really pretty effect. So anyway, this kit is going to be released tomorrow, which is Wednesday, June 8th. I had to double check. Wednesday, June 8th at 9 a.m. Pacific time or noon Eastern time. I don't know yet if this kit is gonna be limited edition. We don't usually know until the kit actually releases. Um, so I will say though that if it is limited edition, I strongly suspect this is one that will sell out quickly. Once it does sell out, if it is limited edition, it will not be restocked. So be sure to check in at release time and grab any kits that you see that are limited edition that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Thank you guys so much for watching this sneak peek video. I hope it was helpful. I hope that it was also helpful to get to see at least part of the kit completed so you can get a sense for if you want this kit to be on your shopping list for the week. And I have to say, you guys, it really should be because it looks so amazing. I love it. I can't wait to keep working on it and using it to participate in the princess along and the pride month event that are being put on this month. But anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this kit over to me to share with all of you ahead of the release. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help. But otherwise, happy shopping. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed, you guys feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. I would love to have you as part of my community here. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.